Hi everyone. This video is mostly going to be about assembling the battery cradle, but here I've included some footage of me welding these patch plates into the frame rails that we cut way back in episode 3 or 4. We've been putting this off mostly just because we haven't had the motor out in quite a while. This is actually the first time the motor has been out since we put it in. For the hole that's actually in the frame rail, I'm using these eighth inch pieces of steel that were plasma cut and then welding all around the sides. And then for the part that's in the sort of like cross member reinforcement thing, I'll be using a much thinner piece. Weld one side and then weld up the other. Hammer the side of the car in, make it tighter. All right, here we are cutting the pieces for underneath the battery. Got this old horizontal bandsaw and it let it rip. So that may have taken three minutes in real time, but it makes a great cut for hardly any work. Yeah, yeah, we just stand around and watch it. That's all four of the pieces that the battery is going to rest on top of. So we're gonna string those along the bottom and then weld them to some pieces at the ends and then weld those to vertical parts. And we'll show all that in a bit. So we've got the assembled front battery pack behind me, uh, but it's occupying the welding table and we need the welding table for other stuff. So we're gonna to have to winch it up off the welding table, pull the welding table out from underneath and then set it on the ground. So, you ready? So we're just gonna take a little bit of weight off it so yeah. we can then slide the table over a little bit. All right, we're gonna see how it reacts. Woo, big failure. Yeah. Well, it definitely took some weight off it. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. Oop, there you go. Now this would fall only fall an inch. That's pretty good. I think it's good. Okay. We'll see when it we'll see how it moves. Yeah. It's flying. It's up. I think it wants to. It's alright. Alright. You can probably pull the table out. Hang on. No, not yet. Let's let it see what it's gonna do here. Alright. Um I don't drink. like how it's tipping. Me neither. So I'm gonna set it back down. I think that's just a case of strap tension. A little, a little bit more loose. Okay. Ah, I can't tighten that good anymore. Okay, try that. Right. That's much better. Nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Swing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> break. We're gonna break it right there. Ooh. Actually, we're, we're bouncing the whole roof. We're right? bouncing the whole the whole thing. That's probably putting double the weight on it right there. Yeah, we should probably either do this or not. Well no, uh, if it breaks, I want it to break right now. Yeah. And fall on the table. I know. I think if it would I think it would break for there's no creaking sounds coming from anywhere. Okay. So what you're gonna wanna do I think is let it down basically all the way, and then put the two by fours back under. 
Um, so you got to be able to get the metal out from underneath. Yeah. Those aren't critical right at the moment. Actually, they're holding up the motor. Ooh. What? It started twisting. Okay. That's, that's all right. Uh, so I got to hold it. All right. All right. Good down here. Woo! Woo! Victory. Didn't <laughs> take down the building with it, so that's not gonna win. All right, there's a couple pieces still missing on the ends, but this is roughly what it's gonna look like, at least the one by two portions. So the bottom here, we've got the four. Two of them are gonna run on the inside of the tabs that we used to secure the threaded rod that's on the bottom. And then the others are going to be basically right at the edge. Going to weld that to the end piece. And then a vertical. We're going to have two more verticals made out of some other material that we haven't cut yet. And then this top beam. And we're going to have... Uh, the plan is to have cross braces that go across the top of the battery and clamp them down. And they're going to bolt right onto there. We've gone from that crude mock-up earlier to actually having everything clamped down and squared up on the welding table. So I'm going to start by welding up these joints on the corners there. I'm going to use the TIG welder for it. And then once that's done, I'll work on getting the uprights and stuff in place. But for now, just these bottom pieces. Here we go again. Harder to see now. Looks okay. You, not a, uh, there we go. Gonna make it. Just barely. <laughs> yeah, let's don't do that again. Uh huh. All right, so we've put it in the center two pieces, uh, and they're lined up so that the end plates will fit around it like that, those bottom tabs. So we're gonna weld those in now. Here we have the finished part. I've attached some of the end plates for the batteries just to show how that all fits so we can check it in the car. And then we've also put together the first of the support 
pieces that'll hold this thing in. This part runs from the front to the back of the engine bay, and it's just the one by one stuff cut at 45s and welded up. There was a bit of a mistake we made where we drilled those holes before completely welding it, and of course it's shrunk up, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to bend that a little bit to get those back into alignment. Since this piece shrunk up in the welding process, we're gonna use some of our natural resources and our biggest ratchet strap to try to stretch it out. Got an eighth of an inch so far after really torquing on it. Um, so either I have to come up with a different plan or just hope this is enough. I can pull harder, but. <laughs> this is a lot stronger than we expected, so we might have to go back to the drawing board on that. Not that it's a bad thing that it's super strong, but hammers always encourage things to move a little bit. Check it. No effect, so we're gonna let it out and try something else. Yeah, that was less than than I cool. So the little tiny bit we managed to stretch it out with that ratchet strap was actually enough to get these bolts in place by hand. So that's kind of a win. We might uh, make that front hole a little bigger or something, which would resolve this problem and then we can drill all the other holes to the right size but that should do it for now here's what the engine bay looks like with the battery cradle roughly in place it's not bolted down or anything we've just set it in there in a representative fashion so the idea with building this bottom piece first is that it's got the easiest geometry to build so once we bolt this cradle onto it the plan being to put some rivet nuts into the cradle and then bolt it up from underneath to the bottom support. That'll fix the cradle in place so we can do the more complicated bits over here of making brackets to attach it to this engine mount, as well as to some of the holes that you can barely see in there on this frame. And there's a couple more around that were used to mount the engine. And since those are in a slightly more oddball place, getting this thing fixed in the spot we're gonna have it makes that easier. So I did also get some nice, super flexible silicone tubing to hook those battery cooling plates up. Uh, we just haven't done it yet because we've been working on all these metal parts. But that concludes this video. Hopefully next time we'll have this actually bolted in in some way. Thanks for watching.